Hello kids and welcome back to today's lesson. My name is Mr. Barr. Well, we started talking about commons a few weeks ago and then we were working with nouns, a person, place, or thing, or animal, such as a dog, a person like Mr. Barr. And then we started talking about pronouns, subject pronouns. I am going to the movies. Or instead of saying he is going to the movies, he is going to the movies. So instead of saying Adriana is going to the movies, she is going to the movies. So we talked about pronouns. Now we are in a very important phase where we want you to come up with some ideas for adjectives. Adjectives describe words. And there are different types of adjectives. They can describe the shape. And as you recall the other day, I showed you the, the apple or I also showed you the tennis ball, and what that looked like, and how it was round and green and hard to necessarily squeeze. And then we talked about color. You mentioned a pink marker here that was pink and black. The pink and black, of course, describing what the marker was like. Then we talked about an orange highlighter. Again, it was orange and blacks. Again, orange and black is describing what exactly the color is. So we have color, we have size. A long stapler. A big ruler. A long dog bone. A squeaky dog bone. With bone being the noun and dog and squeaky helping to explain that. Those are things that are really a lot of fun. Think about it. Key is a nice guy. So again, nice describes guy. And again, these are words that are helped to make things better, whether they be shape, whether they be material, whether I have a leather, I have a cotton shirt on, whether it be color, whether it be size, any of these things. So again, we are now in a phase where you guys should be coming up with some adjectives. Everything that you do has some kind of description with an adjective. If you are looking out the window at a very pretty bunch of trees, and pretty would be telling you what kind of trees they are. Or if you're eating dinner tonight and having delicious fried chicken, delicious would describe fried chicken. Or if you're playing with your good friend, Jeff, good would describe what kind of friend Jeff is to you. There are so many ways to use adjectives, but everywhere we look, there's an adjective out there. Color, size, shape. My pants, they're cotton. It tells you what kind of pants they are. Or the man is big. He is six foot tall. Again, tells you that he is his size. Everything. It's so, so much fun, but it's so easy. So I want you guys to start thinking about adjectives and how you can describe other people and come up with ways that are going to be pretty interesting to help identify that. I want to show you a quick video. I think it's pretty interesting stuff. So we'll go ahead and talk about this. For kids. Hey, kids. Or should we say, hey, smart kids. See what we did there? We threw an adjective in there. Which word was the adjective? If you guess the word smart, you're right. Or we could have said, hey, curious kids. In that case, the word curious would have been the adjective. Did you know that many of the sentences you hear people say have an adjective in them? But let's step back. You may not know what we mean when we call a word an adjective. So let's explain. An adjective is a part of speech. And what's a part of speech? Well, every word in a sentence has a role or a part to play. We figure out what each word's role is by defining it as a part of speech. You've got your nouns, like boy or dog or house. You've got your verbs, like run, play or dance. And you've got your adjectives, like smart or curious. As we mentioned above, obviously not all words are adjectives, only special ones. We use adjectives in sentences to describe what a noun is like. 
or to give it characteristics. So instead of just boy, we could say tall boy. The adjective there is tall. Or instead of the dog, we could say hungry dog, with hungry as our adjective. Instead of just house, could be a haunted house. Haunted is the adjective there. So why do we use adjectives? Well, without them, we wouldn't be able to describe what things are like. If someone asked you what your best friend is like, you'd need an adjective to describe him or her. As in, he's fun or she's athletic. He's cool or she's intelligent. Adjectives are our way of telling other people what the things around us are like, what their characteristics are, and how we think of them. So how do you know if a word is an adjective when you're reading or listening to a book or a story? Here's a simple test to check if a word is an adjective. Ask yourself this. Does it describe a person, place, thing, or idea? Does it give you a detail about a noun? This is Addie Adjective. Her job is to add information to nouns. For example, imagine Addie is wearing a dress. The word dress is a noun. What's the dress like? Is it green, flowing, flowery, sparkly, soft? Let's say Addie is wearing a soft green flowing dress. In that sentence, soft, green, and flowing are all the adjectives. Now Addie is wearing glasses. What are those glasses like? We need adjectives to tell us. Are they round, square, blue, dark? What else is Addie like? Every word we use to describe her is an adjective. Is she brave, generous, fast, happy, sad, or bold? What are some adjectives you'd use to describe yourself? Your friends. Your mom and dad. Of course, adjectives are not only used to describe people. You can describe almost any noun with an adjective. Your bike might be fast. Your food might be delicious. Your school might be huge. Your homework might be difficult. Fast, delicious, huge, and difficult. All of those words are adjectives. So, to sum up, adjectives are great. They make the world most interesting. They turn ordinary nouns extraordinary. Frankly, adjectives are amazing. Now that you know more about the magical, eye-opening, and exciting world of adjective, you'll never use nouns the same way again. And if you always think of Addy when identifying adjectives, you won't go wrong. Isn't that right, colorful, animated, fun-loving Addy? Thanks for following Clarendon Learning. Be sure to subscribe. So again, look at Addie, look at everything around you and help describe whether it be your friends or your family or your school or your cousins or whatever it is. But no matter what you do, you're describing something and you are using an adjective. Until next time, this is Mr. Barr. Thank you for watching.